There has never been a greater time than now to invest in the Metro Detroit area, and there is no other investment firm better qualified than Platinum Real Estate Holdings. With 40 years experience and over 1,000 homes sold, let Platinum Real Estate Holdings assist you with the purchase of a city-certified home of the highest quality. Turnkey properties, screen renters, yielding instant cash flow. Well, what are you waiting for? Call or visit us online today. Welcome to the weekly recap for the week of February 6th. In today's recap, a Detroit homeless shelter plans a new $20 million services center. And lastly, Dan Gilbert submits plans to build a new jail complex for Wayne County to make way for a major league soccer stadium. This week's recap begins now. A well-known Detroit homeless shelter plans to move out of the city's midtown area to a new $20 million center on Detroit's east side. The Neighborhood Services Organization, NSO, said construction on the new services center, tentatively called the Sanctuary, is scheduled to begin early next year, the Detroit Free Press reported. NSO President and CEO Sheila Clay said the three-story, 100,000-square-foot facility on Mac just east of Gratiot Avenues will include 75 one-bedroom apartments in addition to shelter space and on-site health care, substance abuse treatment, and other amenities. Clay said the move represents a decade-long goal of moving the social services agency Homeless Services into a larger, more modern facility close to major bus lines. The site would replace Tomani Center on 3rd Street near the intersection of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Clay said she is in discussions with the Illich organization about selling the Tumani Center property, which is near the site of the new Little Caesars Arena and 50 block District Detroit. The new shelter space could open in 2018. Next up, Dan Gilbert submits plans to build a new jail complex for Wayne County to make way for a Major League Soccer stadium. Billionaire Dan Gilbert has submitted an offer to Wayne County to build a new criminal justice complex and jail at the Lincoln Hall of Justice East, off I-75, just south of Warren Avenue. The offer is part of a major billion-dollar redevelopment plan at the current jail site that includes a Major League Soccer stadium, plus three 18- to 28-story high-rise buildings for office, residential, and hotel uses under a plan announced in April. If completed, the project would transform a key gateway to downtown at Gratiot Avenue and St. Antoine Street. Rock Ventures would build a criminal justice complex with adult and juvenile detention facilities, as well as a new courthouse to replace the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, according to a news release. The proposal assumes a February 20th acceptance and an approximately year-long review and refinement of the plans for the Criminal Justice Center on East Forest Avenue. By next month, under Rock's proposed timeline, the parties would agree to a credit and a June completion of due diligence on the East Forest Avenue and Gratiot sites. Demolition and construction at East Forest Avenue would begin in October, with the complex being completed in March 2020. The proposal calls for a 1,600-bed jail for adults, with a county option for 400 more beds for $43 million more, and a 160-bed jail for juveniles, along with a courthouse, sheriff's office, prosecutor's office, and surface parking. The new courthouse would include 25 courtrooms and judges' chambers. The new criminal justice complex would cost $420 million, but Rock said it would do it for only $300 million in exchange for the transfer of the Gratiot Avenue property and a credit for the savings on what this new consolidated criminal justice complex would provide. Designing the stadium is Detroit-based Rossetti Associates Incorporated. It was also announced that St. Louis-based architecture and engineering firm HOK, the same firm that created Comerica Park, and the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit is working on plans for the new County Justice Center as well. Southfield-based Barton Mallow Corporation is also working on the project. The county has been considering whether to shut down the Lincoln Hall of Justice and move it to the new center area. The Gilbert Gores team submitted their bid to MLS in January. Ten cities have expressed interest 
in getting a professional soccer club. And MLS said in December it will award teams to two cities this year and two more at an undetermined time after that. Wayne County Executive Warren Evans said the county planned to issue a request for proposals for the construction of the jail in early February to Chicago-based Walsh Construction, which has an office in Detroit and is the only company that responded to the company's request for qualifications to complete the jail project. The jail project was halted nearly four years ago when cost overruns pushed the price from $220 million to an estimated $391 million. The complex was designed to consolidate Wayne County's criminal justice facilities in downtown Detroit. If you like to keep score, Dan Gilbert's real estate and development empire in and around downtown has grown to more than 95 properties, buildings, and parking decks, for the most part totaling more than 15 million square feet. Getting a MLS franchise would be the second major professional sports team for both Gilbert and Gores. Gilbert also owns the NBA's Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, that's this week's recap. Did you find this recap helpful? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for listening and have a great day. This has been your weekly real estate investment news recap. Did you find this recap helpful? Please like or comment below this video to enter to win a free copy of our ebook, The Ultimate Real Estate Guide for Residential Real Estate Investments. You can also subscribe to our channel or go to our website to receive the latest in real estate news. Our website also affords you the opportunity to view our latest turnkey properties.